thank you for being here today. Uh, honored dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Leonard Cousy. I was born in the city of Lora, where the independence took place 100 years ago in Albania. I have been residing in Syracuse for the last 14 years. I'm very happy to be the host of this event, the 100th anniversary of the Albanian Independence Day. We're grateful to have here with us the mayor of the city of Syracuse, Stephanie Minor. Thank you. As dignitaries, we have Mike, uh, Mr. Mike Atkins, representing New York State Assembly of Sam Roberts. Thank you. And Tiffany Latino, representing Senator De Francisco. A special thank from the members of our Albanian community goes to the mayor of the Syracuse City, um, Stephanie Minor, and her staff for giving us this great opportunity. I also would like to thank everyone for being here today to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Albanian Independence Day. Thank you, everybody. At this point, I would like to invite uh, Mrs. Stephanie My Minor, the mayor of the city of Syracuse, to do the presentation. Uh, please help me welcome the mayor of the city. Thank you very much, Leonard. It is uh, indeed our pleasure to be here today and to be able to recognize this very special event, the 100th anniversary of the uh, independence of Albania from the Ottoman Empire. So uh, let me read the proclamation that I have signed uh, today. Whereas this date marks the 100th anniversary of the celebration known as Flag Day, held by the Albanian community as a means of remembering November 28, 1912. And whereas on that day, Ismail, and you'll have to forgive my pronunciation, Kormeli, raised the Albanian flag in the port city of Valor, Albania, proclaiming Albanian independence after 500 years of the Ottoman occupation. And whereas in light of all that the Albanian people have endured throughout history, the actions of resistance fighters in defiance of the Ottoman rulers remain a source of great inspiration to contemporary Albanians and all freedom-loving people. And whereas Syracuse is fortunate to be the home of a thriving population of Albanian Americans, who contribute to the many aspects of life in this city and have found success in various areas of professional endeavor and cultural interest. And whereas we take this opportunity to honor the Albanian American community as its members celebrate the hundred years of independence and the countless accomplishments of contributions of the Albanian Americans to the city of Syracuse community. Now therefore, I, Stephanie A. Minor, Mayor of the City of Syracuse, do hereby proclaim the 28th day of November, 2012, as Albanian Independence Day in the City of Syracuse. Again, a great and a respect thank for the Mayor of the City for giving us the proclamation. Uh, right now, I'd like to invite to say something, uh, Mike at uh, Mr. Mike Atkins. On behalf of State Assemblyman Sam Roberts, unfortunately, he was not able to be here today, but he definitely wanted to send a representative to welcome you and congratulate you on your 100th anniversary and the due diligence that all of you have had in making Syracuse the great city that it is and what you have contributed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Atkins. Uh, and right now, uh, at this point, I'd like to invite Ms. Stephanie Latino and I'm representing the uh, Senator De Francisco. Hi, 
Hi, congratulations to all of you on celebrating your 100th anniversary. This is truly a wonderful event. Unfortunately, Senator DeFrancisco could not be here today, but I'm really honored to be here in his place. Wonderful events like these here today uh, help to celebrate the cultural diversity and the unity that we uh, have here in the city of Syracuse and throughout central New York. So once again, congratulations, and I am really happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you again, Ms. Latino. And right now, uh, to say some remarks uh, regarding the Independence Day of Albania, I would like to welcome my best friend, which without him wouldn't be here today, Mr. Rezar Guerra. Madam Mayor, honored dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. We're gathered here today to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Albania Independence Day. On November 28, 1912, Albania declared independence from Ottoman Empire, ending a 500 year long occupation. As people gathered in 1912 from every corner of the country to raise the Albanian flag in the city of Lora, and as they gathered this very same day, in Albania, Kosovo, and elsewhere. We're greatly, proudly gathered here to commemorate the most significant day in Albanian history. The Albanian principalities had existed previously as Illyria since Greco-Roman Empire times and later in the Middle Ages known as Principality of Arbor. However, the Declaration of Independence in 1912 is the genesis of the modern Albanian state. Ismail Cemal Beyvlora was the main political figure of the independence of Albania, the creation of Albanian state, the first prime minister of Albania, and the father of Albanian nation. The first Albanian state was created in very difficult times, and one might say it continued for, for a long period as such. Since then, the state of Albania and its people had endured many regional conflicts, the rule of a foreign prince, two war wars, a very long and brutal communist regime that for 50 years isolated the country from the world and impoverished its people. Today, Albania is a new democracy. It's also a developing economy that has switched from a socialist centralized model to a market driven one. Albania is a member of NATO and its soldiers had served in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Albania is a candidate for membership in the United Nations and European Union. A visa is not anymore required for Albanians to travel throughout most of Europe. To a lot of us, that might sound this day as such a privilege or we might not understand it, but for many of us back there, we could not even dream of such thing many years in the past. Today we're proud to be Albanians, but we're also proud to be Americans. The United States of America has always been on the side of Albanian people. In early 20th century, they did not allow the continuation and separation of Albanian territories as it happened with Kosovo, but ensured the existence of the Albanian state. President Woodrow Wilson is accredited for saving the Albanian state. Later in the 20th century, the United States continued its support and guidance to ensure the end of the communist regime. Again, it was the United States and the President Bill Clinton administration that ended the genocide and liberated Kosovo. In 2008, the United States and George W. Bush administration recognize the independence of Kosovo, the other half of the Albanian nation. That very same year, President George W. Bush signed the NATO-Albania protocols saying, the people of Albania and Croatia are helping move 
the world closer to a great triumph of history. A Europe that is whole, a Europe that is free, a Europe that is at peace. Albania joined NATO in 2009. President Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton all have been awarded the Order of the Flag, the highest medal by, given by the President of Albania. All of us are very grateful for this dedicated support. Part of Albanian history are also its people. Without getting into too many details, I would like to tell you about two most well-known Albanians. First is Jerzy Kastriodi Skanderbeg, the national hero of Albania. In the 15th century, he united Albanian principalities of the time to fight against Ottoman Empire, and it did that for 25 years, defending not only Albania, but the entire European civilization and the Christianity as well. The second person is a Nobel Prize winner for peace, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She was born Agnes Gonje Boyaji to Albanian parents. In her own words, by blood I'm Albanian, by citizenship I am Indian, by faith I'm a Catholic nun. As, the, as to my calling, I belong to the world. As to my heart, I belong entirely to the Jesus Christ. She served the sick around the world, spreading peace, love, and the word of God. Over the years, Albanians have made the United States their home, whether it is to escape the communist rule, foreign genocide, to seek higher education, or simply economical reasons. We've all been welcomed, supported, and we found many friends. And here today, as, Amer as Albanian Americans, we have made the greater Syracuse area our home. Amongst us, we have teachers, we have accountants, doctors, mechanics, nurses, business owners, builders, students, all of us contributing to the region and to the great country of the United States. We all stand here amongst our friends, celebrating the birth of our country, celebrating our heritage, and we also express the most sincere gratitude against the United States of America that allowed us to pursue our dreams, to raise our families in peace and in prosperity. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. May the friendship of Albania and United States live forever. May God bless both of these countries. Thank you again, Mr. Gare, for such wonderful remarks. At this point, we are proceeding to the event by raising the Albanian flag. I would invite to come forward the children, the Albanian American children, American Albanian children, how would I call them, uh, to, with their mothers, forward to raise the Albanian flag. Please join me in singing the Albanian national anthem as the flag is being raised. Thank you again, thank you very much. Uh, at this point, uh, this event has come to the end. Again, 
From everyone is over here, we'd like to thank the mayor of the city, the honored dignitaries, for sharing with us their appreciation and respect they, had for, they have for our community and us being here as devoted citizens of the United States. Thank you, Mayor. You may now proceed to your uh, daily routines, guys. Thank you. Thank you.